She's the creator of an insanely popular toilet spray. Jill Martin caught up with her to find out how she made it. This is going to go off the rails. No, it's fine. Now. It's fine. <laughs> Susie Batiste is the woman behind Poo Puri. She just made the Forbes self-made women list, and I recently found out how she went from tough times to enjoying the sweet smell of success. I had worked with oils. It had been my hobby for years. I was the closet hippie, you know, and I just started researching and playing, kind of going, what oils would cover odor? Susie Patisse's Before You Go Toilet Spray, called Poopery, masks bathroom odor. The name is genius. I had everybody trying to come up with names, and my sister-in-law called, and she goes, poo poo -pourri. I go, no, poo -pourri, like poo It just clicked. Petit says the idea started with her ex-husband. You must be very close with your ex-husband because he is the inspiration to poo -pourri. He is. He because is. he pooped so a lot. grateful for him, that horrible <laughs> diet. We went to a dinner party, and someone said, Something about can bat bathroom odor, can it be trapped? And I literally felt like a zing up my arm, and I went, I work with oils, I can do that. Batiste worked on the natural formula for nine months. So your husband would poop, you said, three times a day. Oh, yeah, thank goodness. And uh, one day my husband, walked at the time, walked out of the bathroom, and he goes, oh, my God, we're going to be millionaires. I said, what do you mean? He goes, do you realize what you've done? Like, you've taken the smell out of crap, we'll say. And I'm like, what do you mean? It works? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, my gosh. With $25,000 in savings, Batiste sold her first bottle in 2007. Poo-Pourri made $1 million in that first year amidst the economic recession. The company has sold 65 million bottles to date. And this year, Batiste was featured on Forbes' self-made women list. What was that like when you got the call or opened the page and saw that number? I literally laid in my kitchen floor for four hours. I could cry right now. It's yeah, sobbing. I know. It was breaking patterns of generational poverty. And just like the gratitude just comes bursting out of me like, oh my God. Batiste struggled in business for years. She filed for bankruptcy twice. At 19, when her bridal shop failed, and at 38, when her staffing startup ran out of money. I was devastated. I lost the house. I lost the cars. It was brutally painful. I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. I lied to my kids. And I lost everything. If you had to pinpoint the moment that was your lowest, but that you still had hope, what is your advice? I thought money and success were going to make me happy. I found happiness within myself. And then that's what you rebuild from. Today, Batiste's poopery company has become known for viral videos like how to poop at work. Hold it in. in April. Ah. Oh, uh-oh. And their most recent video, want your poop to smell gourd? What are you doing pooping in here? You better get your swipe right self back out there. Oh, I'm good. Ah. Batiste now gives back to budding female entrepreneurs, hosting grassroots meetups appropriately called She Made It. Money now almost seems secondary to you, and really you've told me your mission is all about helping other women. I'm a huge advocate of women being in business because we can actually change the world. Not because I want women to overtake the world, you know, but I do want to see a balance and I want to see a little more equality. And we have everything within us to, to make it happen. We say yes. Yeah. She's an incredible woman. And it really is sort of a, a hot topic that we were talking about because you really, I'm not a bathroom talk girl, but right. you were like, I use it all the time. And well, you said, my mom, I, mom, I, I don't. A while ago, she's like, I found the best stuff. I got it at this boutique in Wichita. And I said, what? So she sent me some. Some poopery? Yes. Yeah. And who knew it was We a keep thing. it in, in both our bathrooms. And it's just, I feel like also when people come over to the house, yeah. it's there. This so may then... save my marriage because <laughs> I have to use a separate bathroom. And I have a. And it's 9:45 in the morning. No, because well, you started on twice. So that's right. But it's a situation. It's a real life situation. Excuse a me. lot of couples don't. <laughs> no, a lot of a lot of couples say. You have to go to commercial. Yeah. So Ten bucks a bottle, Jill. Ten bucks a bottle, three These to five squirches before you go. Good. That was before a great behind the brand. Oh, you're